My name is Audrey. I'm from Ghana, and I'm a pure mathematician. <laughs> my interest lies in topology and geometry. It's my dream to become a great professor in future, one who is highly knowledgeable and efficient, and one who teaches properly. <laughs> right from my childhood, I've always had this passion to teach. I quite remember at the age of about 11, I used to gather my little cousins who used to come over to our house to play and then teach them. They ended up spending most of their time learning mathematics instead of playing. I guess they did enjoy it. I did anyway. <laughs> this passion continued to be with me until after I graduated from the university when I decided to kill it. The reason being that I was interested in an area of pure mathematics which was not being taught at the postgraduate level in my school. Also, schooling outside my country was just not an option due to lack of funds. So I said to myself, why not go into finance? So I started looking for job opportunities in the financial sector. And just when I got lucky, the then head of department asked, Audrey, have you ever heard about Ames? I said, Ames, no. So what he did was he printed out a newsletter from Ames, gave it to me and said, read and apply. So I did. For me, Ames has rekindled that passion to teach and has given me the opportunity to pursue my heart's desire. That's I'm really grateful for. At the end of it all, after I've gotten all the knowledge that I need, coupled with the skills that I picked up from those great lecturers who came over to teach at Ames, I will go back to my country to teach. I would go back to Ghana and make changes where I can. To give people a different way of looking at pure mathematics. The old way, or the current way, being that pure mathematics is extremely difficult and it's an all men's affair. Pure mathematics is for weirdos, or you end up becoming a weirdo or a super normal person if you should go into pure mathematics. Currently, there are just, there's just a handful of postgraduate students who are into pure mathematics in the math department of my home university. Likewise, the lecturers, with the youngest being in his early 40s. So I'll set myself as an example to encourage and inspire the young ones, especially the ladies, to take it up. And it might interest you to know that in my country, since the inception of the math department of my school, there has never been a female Ghanaian pure mathematics lecturer. So I want to go back and be the first. Thank you.